Our Lord Jesus Christ commanded his disciples, saying, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God's covenant promises are for extended to everyone, including our children. Hear these words of scripture. This promise is for you and for your children, for all who are far away, everyone whom our Lord God calls. <clears throat> Obeying Christ's command and trusting in God's promises, we baptize those whom God has called. Let us remember with joy our own baptisms as we celebrate this sacrament. In baptism, God's gracious initiative invites our faithful response. Because John is a baby, his parents and his family of faith make promises on his behalf. Charlie and Kristen, do you desire for your child to be baptized? Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of evil, renounce sin and its power in the world? Do you confess Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, and do you trust in him? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to your child? Do you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture this child, encouraging him to to know and follow Christ and to be a faithful member of his church? Do you? We do. do. Let us pray. Ever faithful God, we give you thanks for the gift of water. In the beginning, your spirit moved over the water, creating order and life. In the water of the Jordan, our Lord was baptized and anointed by your spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, we have been set free from sin and delivered from death to everlasting life. Send your spirit to move over this water that in it we might be created anew. Embrace your children, wash away their sin, raise them to new life, and graft them to the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, that they may have the power to do your will and follow in your way. For it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Charlie and Kristen Musser present their son for baptism. And what is the Christian name of your child? John Charles, there you go. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. John, you are a child of God. Live your whole life in the sure knowledge, there you go, that you are saved by God's grace and embraced by God's love. On behalf of the children of the church, we present this Bible to John, that he may grow in God's grace. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you that in baptism you have claimed us as your own freed us from sin and death, and joined us to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. We pray that through us and through all your church, you will hold John in your love, guide him as he grows in faith, and protect him in all dangers and temptations, that he may one day confirm the promises we have made on his behalf, confessing his own faith in Jesus Christ and living a life of faithful discipleship. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Amen.